I'm Echo Charles, and this is McDojo Life. Keeping martial arts legit. Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life. We're back again with another McDojo Breakdown. Today I have with me the man himself, Echo Charles. Thank you. I appreciate you coming by. I saw you walking by the booth. I was like, dude, I gotta steal you for a quick buy. Yes, all right, I've wanted to do this with you forever. Okay. All right, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna show you a technique. You're just gonna give me your reaction. If you need to watch it more than once, you're more than welcome to. Okay. Then we're gonna see if it works or not. And if it does not work, you just show us a better way. Okay. All right, cool. So I'll show you real quick. Next position, we're gonna take it from a tight mount. We're gonna use the spleen 21 points on both sides of his ribs. We're gonna place the knuckles in and we're gonna twist. What that's gonna cause him to do is come up. As soon as he does that, we're gonna roll him over to the side. So as he comes down, we place the knuckles, we twist, and we get him right off of us nice and quick. Like butter. Can I say it one more time? Okay. Right. Don't forget, it's clean 21. Not 21. Not 22, right. not 19. Yeah. Just come up. As soon as he does that, we're gonna roll him over to the side. So as he comes down, we place the knuckles, we twist, and we get him right off of us nice and quick. Do you think it'll work or not? I do not think that will work, no. Sorry. All right, but we're gonna give it a good college try. Okay. We're gonna try, all right? So go ahead and hop down, and I'll mount you, and you can oh, you want me to do the squeeze 21? Yeah, okay. for sure. I'm not saying it's gonna feel good. I don't want to do this, but I'm a scientist, damn it. I don't know, my spleen 21 tools are pretty uh, robust. All right, spleen me. All right, so how did he do it? You so, like this? Yes, yeah. So and I then, was down. Yes. Then he used his little middle knuckles and he got in there okay. and the, I don't, the spleen's in there somewhere. Okay, for, and for success, he needs to fly, I think, somewhere in this. Vicinity. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, ready? Go. It's not comfortable. Get both yeah. in there. Get both oh, in there. Like here? Yeah. I don't see how that would work, but okay. All right. I mean, it's uncomfortable. I can feel my ribs moving. Echo is a very strong man. Yeah. I don't see it. I don't see yeah. it working. All right, so you don't, uh, well, clearly it doesn't work, right? Yes. Really? I mean, go for it. Bridge, clean swing, give it place. to me. Go for it. Okay. No, I, I can tell already that's not going to work. Yeah, it doesn't feel no. good. All right, so, I didn't lose. so that one doesn't work. Yeah. All right. So what's a better way? What do you have a suggestion for? What, to get him off him out? Yeah, so. Okay, to get on top. I think, yeah, okay, here's the way. There's, there's a couple of steps to this. I'll give you the super basic one. Okay, cool. Okay, so, yeah, interesting, it's kind of similar, but don't use the spoon 21 knuckle or whatever, because that doesn't work. Pressure points can not work, I don't think. Mm. To me, if you want to get him over there, you got to use your body. Mm. Yeah. And then a push. Yeah, for sure. So, it's basically, instead of, a lot of times the hip escape goes this way. Yeah. You, I'm going to hip escape to the side. Okay. And I'm going to push his ribs. Kind of the same area, I would yeah, say. Yeah, for sure. He's not a commonly known move, but it's very I'll common. take it, yeah. yeah. So, we'll flare our foot out like a hip escape to the side, not back to the side. I got you. So, you're, you're kicking your leg out just off a little bit at an angle. Yeah, exactly. And like I said, instead of hipping my hip back, I'm going to hip it to the side. And at the same time, I'm going to push you this way. Okay. So when I do it, and then uh, you already see, I, if I can bring this knee back and knee tap here, now yeah, I can get sure. it up. Yeah, because now I'm in trouble. Yeah. And what was really cool about that, can you do it one more time for me? So what I noticed right off the bat was as soon as you kicked your leg out, right, you had that hip freedom. So I, can, I already know feeling that leg out of the way that your hip is going to be able to move. Yes, sir. And as soon as you got on your side and you started pushing, all my weight came off of this leg. So like even if I was pinching, do it again, even yeah. pinching, yeah. I'm still off to the side. I have to catch myself or I'm going to fall. Yeah. Right? And then you said just a knee tap, right? Yeah. Knee tap. Ooh, it's all good. That happens. Yeah. Dude, that was great, man. Yeah. Thank you. So I appreciate that. So no spleens. No spleens. I, that I know of. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, the pressure point thing, I've yet to find a, a scenario where that works. So, okay. Yeah. Let's say keep it basic and do it that way. I love it. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you. Keep the martial arts and chips. Yes. Man, thank you again. Okay, McDojo Life, you guys always hate on mystic martial arts. 
but this one is like for real legit, for real legit. So you can't hate on it anymore. With Greg McIntyre, he's a jujitsu black belt. So it's, you know, he's not faking, this is for real. So don't hate on it anymore. Watch. My baby got robbed the other day by degenerates So she wanted to learn some new form of this self-defense So she did her research and perused it online And found this tool said he could move shit with his mind He called himself Sifu Paul Zimmerman He got a dojo with a strip on his Cinnabon Now she spends all day trying to break boards with her thoughts But the only thing she's breaking is my little heart